Hello everyone, I'm James with Total Sports News. A contentious debate has reignited in Washington over the former logo of the football team now known as the Washington Commanders, after the team abandoned its old name, widely considered a racial slur, and retired its Native American-themed logo in 2020, a new controversy has emerged. Republican Senator Steve Daines of Montana is blocking legislation aimed at funding renovations for RFK Stadium until the NFL and the Washington Commanders agree to honor the team's former logo in some capacity. The logo, a profile of a Native American man, was originally designed by Walter Blackie Wetzel, a member of the Blackfeet Nation. Daines, who has a history of advocating for Native American issues, has faced criticism from indigenous communities who view his efforts as insensitive and rooted in racism. Despite bipartisan efforts on other Native American issues, Danes's stance on the logo has sparked a divisive discussion. The original logo, created in the early 1970s, has supporters within the Blackfeet Nation who see it as a source of pride and a tribute to Walter Wetzel's legacy. However, many indigenous advocates argue that such imagery perpetuates harmful stereotypes and contributes to negative social impacts, particularly on Native American youth. Critics, including members of the Blackfeet Nation, question the financial benefits reaped from the logo's commercial use and argue for greater consultation with affected communities. Meanwhile, discussions between Senator Daines, the Washington commanders and Native American leaders continue regarding potential ways to honor the logo while addressing its controversial history. This debate underscores broader issues surrounding cultural representation and sensitivity in sports, with stakeholders on all sides advocating for meaningful dialogue and equitable solutions. That's all for now. Stay tuned to Total Sports News for further updates on this developing story.